We begin with breaking news. Authorities arrest two people accused of shooting a man and then stealing his car. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. It happened this morning on Old Kensett Road in Kensett. Fox 16's Rochelle Turner joins us live at the scene. And Rochelle, we're being told that two suspects have been arrested. Is that right? Well, Donna, that's exactly right. Good evening to you. Just minutes ago, the sheriff released the names of the victim. They are 24-year-old Jake Brown and 21-year-old Carissa Miller. Now, those two people are accused of stopping a guy here on this, on Old Kensett Road shooting him and then taking his car. Now, this all happened around 9 o'clock this morning. The sheriff says the suspect was driving down Old Kensett Road, and that's when he, he stopped to help um, someone, and that's when those two people shot at his car, and the car was stolen. He was taken to the hospital and the officials say right now the OnStar is what helped them locate the stolen car in Jackson County. Just kind of take a listen to what people here in the small town of Kensington had to say. Hearing that is very shocking. I mean, really, I've been here 41 years, and I've never heard of anything like that ever happening. I mean, because usually you can stop and help somebody, and nothing like that will happen to you. So that's very shocking. And many people we also spoke to here in the small town of Kensett tell us that something like this just never happens. They travel up and down Old Kensett Road all the time, and they just could not believe something like this happened in a small town. But the sheriff did tell me that those two people are headed back to the White County Detention Center. We're going to try to meet up with the sheriff to see what charges they could possibly be facing. Right now, the sheriff did tell me that the man, the suspect who's in the hospital, I mean, the victim who's in the hospital, rather, he's not sure what his condition is right now, but many people are hoping that he makes a full recovery. We'll have much more coming up tonight on Fox 16 News at 9. For now, reporting live in Kensington, I'm Rochelle Turner, Fox 16 News.